I was given uh, one of these by one of my colleagues at work to blow up and just take some of the gaskets out. Now I'll try to get access to the element. Uh, it was intermittent, so I'll see whether I can burn the device out. It's one of these air fires. And some parts I put aside. I'm going to use those for wasp sapper if we're going to get wasps again in our garden at some stage. So that should be good. Seem to be impossible to get these screws out there all corroded. I have to go to plan B regarding uh, to take the screws out. So I'm going to take this internal device out. I'll cut it out. Hopefully it will work. Um, it looks like a halogen type uh, heating element. So as long as we can get access to the end terminals, so I should be able to bypass all the safety devices and uh, get some uh, entertainment out of this device. It'll probably pretty quick ball see there we go nearly there ah there we go photo motor yeah, that looks pretty caked up I'll well, see if I can make some termination on here somehow stand by I have to resort to opening plan B so always wear a pair of these and we'll see if we get access uh, carefully to the device on the internals. Oh, that's good. Ah, uh, yeah. Gloves, but yeah. got a humble shaded pole motor here, electronic timer. Uh, just need to get access to the heating uh, spirals. Now this device relies on forced cooling. I need to force it a bit harder. Yeah, plastic, plastic, fantastic. Yeah, put a couple of these on. I think we got access to the heating wires and are these two brown wires here they got a um, that special heat resistance uh, material on it I'm pretty sure it's these wires here so I need to get access to there and open them up um, that's a thermostat so I got two mesh of some sort these two I'll cut those off here and we're gonna clean those up and do a resistance test on it, see if the elements are still in one piece. And then, uh, I'll clean the ends off. And let's see if it gets access to some copper and do a continuity test on the device to see if the element is still continuous. That is quite important. I've got some bare copper here. That's gonna arm it up with my classic old fluke. You need a display on it? Yeah, hopefully you can. Oh well, test the leads first. 0 0.2, that's good. Four point six arm. 4.7 that's good so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna connect it up to 40 volts and um, the heater will be off no forced heating see if we get a meltdown stand by and I need a plug lead not oh, the best lead to use is of course uh, the lead from the device unplugged of course and we use that for our test setup 
Okay, this is the setup. Um, I'll center the camera a bit better. Hopefully, the weather still behaves because it's shitty weather at the moment. We're going to plug it in shortly. Open the hood and firstly, how the glow is on the device. Let's put some weight in here, it's going to fall over. Okay, I'm going to energize. Oh, that's bright straight away. That's very bright. Let's cook it up. Let's cook it up this way. That's nice. There's no cooling fan on it, so it should overheat hopefully. Let's let it do a meltdown. We're drawing 1. Uh, 1 kilowatt and a bit. I don't need 400 volts. I think we just let this overheat itself and see what happens. Should get some disturbance somewhere at some stage. Let's give it a glow pulse. I'll put it down like this. Not satisfied with 240 volts, uh, boosted up to 380. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm getting impatient, we need to make a bigger hole. De-energized device. Okay, we configured 394 volts, so loaded about 380 by the transformateur. Now we connect the wires up. Okay, we're going to energize at 380 volts. See what happens. Oh, she's bright. Two kilowatt loading. It's like a daylight, a light bulb. Low on it. Pretty good going. Drawing about 3D ampere. Okay, we'll pull it the other way, de energize. That's pretty good going. Now we're gonna put it down and let it cook. Now see what's gonna happen. Rolling, energize device. Two point five kilowatt. It's a good heater. Smoke emitting devices under stress. Fire emitting on the side, that's probably the rubber seal. Oh, it's close to two. Mrs. Rodalco won't be happy. Stunk up the carriage already. We are emitting, we are on fire. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That will burn for a wee while and then we'll turn it off. Nice. That element is good quality. Shit, it's surprising how well it works.
That is a good element. The end adjust device. Ooh. We're going to do an energization, see if something happens. Energize device. The element still works. Glass blue. Element is still working. Just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Safety first. Ah, that's a strong element. We need to go higher voltage. 400. Well, de energizing fixing the system situation. De energize device. Oh, that's stone cold. That's good. Starting to drain, I'm not almost sure. Well, I'll leave this as part one for now. We see, oh, 2.6. Oh, that smells nice. I'm going to switch off, and uh, it's going to be part two on this. I'll let this, uh, it's starting to rain now. EOL EOL Rodelco 2007. Thanks for watching. The Energize device. Always unplug safety first. Besides of whatever switch you have. That is some bloody good glass.